Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the vlog. Thank you for joining me for tea time. I appreciate you being here. So today's going to be another Nikon day. Nikon, Nikon, Nikon. It has been Nikon crazy as of late. Nikon's doing a good job at leaking out a photo here, video, or whatever, some specs. They're doing good. They're doing a good job keeping us interested, right? Keeping our interest up. There's even a guy that mocked up a cardboard camera. God, I don't even know, guys. Do you have that much time on your hand? I wish I had that much time to mock up a cardboard of a camera that doesn't exist with specs you really don't know. Yeah. So anyways, I digress. Um, so today we're going to be talking about Nikon and I want to look at its mount. Now, when the specs were first leaked and the mount was said to be 49 millimeters and then finally it came in at 55 millimeters. And if you remember back when the first image came out of that camera and I looked at it, I said, guys, this is every bit of 55 millimeters, maybe even bigger. It's massive is what I actually said. I said, it's massive. It literally looks more like medium format size. Well, maybe this is something that could come to pass. It's possible now. It's possible. And I want to look at these possibilities. Now, as you know that I've said, and I've said it over and over in the past, that I believe that Micro Four Thirds is going to go away of the dinosaur. It's going to be gone. And Professional APS-C is going to be the professional full frame and then medium format will be the full frame. It's going to take its place. Bigger and bigger and bigger is what's going on. Years ago, it used to be megapixels, right? How many megapixels does your camera have? Finally, we figured out that it really doesn't matter as much. It's about noise and a bunch of other things that go into it, not just megapixels. Today, it's all about pixel size. How big is your pixels? And... How well does your camera shoot video? That is what people are looking for today. If you don't have a camera that does really good video, then you want to hear about it. That all being said, let me take you back to like the 80s, okay? My 80s. I was building cars at the time. And what we used to do is we would take a small block Chevy motor, take it out of a car and stick in a big block motor. Why? This was a sleeper. No one knew what was under the hood, right? I think that is what is going to be going on here. I think that it's a possibility that Nikon is going to take a medium format sensor and wedge it into their new mirrorless camera eventually. So why do I say that? Well, if we look at Sony's history, for example, we know that Sony's E-mount was actually an APS-C mount. And now they force, they just shoehorned in a full frame sensor ever since the A7 line. And as you can tell, just by looking at the Sony camera itself, that sensor is literally edge to edge. The mount is really not big, very big, let's call it, for that sensor. But they shoehorn it in. My idea here is, is possibly can Nikon do the same and dual purpose their camera. Now, someone had a really cool image here, and I'm going to show it to you of a Fujifilm GFX50. Now that is a medium format digital camera next to the mock-up of the Nikon full frame. Now, bear in mind, we don't have the specs down to the millimeter, but it's close, all right? This is speculation, of course. It's just speculation. This is what I think. As you can tell, though, the sensor being wedged into this Nikon can fit can fit. Now, of course, this is going to be a massive medium format sensor, but it can be a smaller sized medium format sensor in this new mirrorless camera that Nikon puts out. Now, will they be putting that out right away? Probably not, but they could be developing that mount to future proof, to give another hundred years to a specific set of lenses, let's call it. All right, lenses that could be used on their medium format and lenses that can be used on their full frame. As Sony has their E-mount, where these lenses can be used on their APS-C as well as on their full frame. Could this be happening? Could Nikon be taking a page out of Sony's playbook here? I don't know, but that's what I want to ask you guys. So in the comment area below, let me know your thoughts. Do you think that they're going to be doing this or... 
Maybe I'm all wet behind the ears. Let me know where I got it right and let me know where I got it wrong. What do you guys think? Is it possible that this massive mount might also be the mount of the future? Future medium format Nikon mirrorless. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoy my content as always. If you have, throw me a big thumbs up. That would be stellar. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button so you can get all my content when it becomes available and click the bell icon so when it is available, you will be notified of it. And finally, head over to my website, jchristina.com, where you can find all of the photography tools that I've invented for you and me over the years. And hopefully there's something there that you might like. And if there is, please pick it up and support me. That's it, guys. I'm out of here for yet another vlog. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.